So we want to go over uh, skills and uh, just go over them individually so you can see this is them together, this is them separate. Um, and again, great to work on work them together, also great to work with them uh, separate. So both are, are encouraged. So with our relax on a mat here, what we're looking for from Mr. Watson is for him to come on over to the mat and then continue to give us increasingly relaxed body postures so that um, D-O-W-N was perfect. So we'll give him one for your S-I-T there. Very good. Um, very good job, sir. So this is great. This is right um, exactly what we're looking for. So Miss, we got Miss Willow in the same room. She's having a hard time. We might, uh, we <laughs> might want to put her um, out in the sun room. She, uh, it's gotta be, it's tough to see your brother, see your brother doing, doing some training alone, I know. I have my tea. Um, so that once we're done with this exercise, I like to take a treat, toss it off the mat, and good job, buddy. I really, he did a really good job being able to relax his own body. Um, again, a crucial behavior exercise that allows dogs to work through big emotions. Um, because their body language is telling them that they're okay. So that's um, that in a nutshell, is basically gaining emotional intelligence. Watson. Very good. As soon as he makes eye contact. Watson. So one, we drag up towards our face. The next one, we do not. Then we can make a little distraction for him. Try this one. Watson. Watson. Um, so you'll notice that I prefer to say I command one time and give them an opportunity to think it through. Um, so I usually wait about five to ten seconds and then give them another shot if they if they didn't listen. But it'll cultivate a stronger learning response. Cultivate that tree. Watson. Excellent. So he's interested in that tree, but he's got to come back. Watson, come. What? <laughs> Watson. Come. It's like he just he just laid down. He said, "That's enough." This is as far as we go. Watson, sit. Good job, buddy. Watson, down. Down. Good job, bud. Watson, stay. Good job, bud. We'll do another repetition of that. Watson, stay. Watson, stay. Watson. Lead it. Very good. Um, so again with our stay, we're just taking a simple step back and then returning to him so that he has an opportunity uh, to not move at all. I don't want to do a stay and then call him over to me. Um, and I like to utilize name games and then work on some good recall. So the name game, name game, name game, uh, Watson, 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 all the different exercises, and then call a dog over to me um, and then say, Watson, Watson, come! And uh, work through his recall. Watson, come! We're already pretty close. This might be a little bit confusing, actually. We're, if we're so close, we don't know. Watson, touch. <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually, and we're up. Okay. Watson, touch. Good job. 
We're just feeling a little tired. We're a little tired, that's okay. No worries, buddy. No worries. Fuck it, touch. Very good. Uh, and with our, our touch, again, we just want him to bump our hand with his little nose and position himself exactly where we want him to go. Uh, with our leave it, that, that real definitive pullback is what we're looking for, leave it. Like that, that's perfect. Um, excellent, let's go over our space exercise. Watson. Watson. Hey, bud. Watson. Space. Very good job. So it gives me that two foot bubble around myself. So that's perfect as long as he's stationary and outside of my bubble. Um, then he's met the criteria and that is exactly what we're looking for. Excellent. Good job, sir. Um, so one other thing that I was going to mention is for a moment there when he was uh, just laying there and was disinterested, I was thinking about doing a uh, high value reward, going and grabbing some other treats, something that gets him a little bit more wound up. And that's certainly something that we can do. Uh, and it, it has the tendency to get your pup more excited. So certainly something that we want to uh, keep on our radar. So I can toss some kibble over here. Watson, come. Watson, come. Good job, bud. And then we get some red barn, which is some delicious treats. Here you go, bud. Uh, when we actually come over. Watson, come. Watson, come. Watson really wants that red barn. Good job, bud. Um, so we we weren't going too uh, too hard on the on the red barn. Always giving red barn. He had uh, some tummy troubles, uh, a little bit of diarrhea when we went, we used too much red barn. Uh, so you want to make sure that uh, if we've got a sensitive stomach, that we can train with kibble and then throw in sparingly uh, what's a, a high value reward. So. Give him another shot on a recall. Watson, come. Good job, buddy. Perfect. Very good, sir. Very good. Yeah, you are a champion. 3D for you. Leave it. Excellent. Um, so, uh, and then one, lastly, one piece that I did want to mention is when I'm using the space exercise, when dogs are coming towards me, I like to treat from the ground so that they get used to everything coming from down low, because it's an anti-jumping exercise. So when I tell them space, I'll just set a treat down and they'll say, oh, okay, everything interesting comes from down here as soon as they say, uh, they say space. So that I know, <laughs> good job, buddy. Uh, that I need to be disinterested on anything that's going on up high and up here um, as soon as they say space. Very good job. 